Hey guys, it's Becky. I am here to do a real time video for next Saturday. Today is Sunday, February 10th. It is about 10.30 in the morning. I'm going to scrap lift this one. This is from Scrap Queen 141. That's her screen name at a cherry on top. This is the one I'm going to scrap lift just to make it easy on myself. We'll put the photo up in the top right hand corner. I'm going to do this photo of Riley. This is going to be my title and I went ahead and cut it out already. You can hear I still haven't got a new chair. <laughs> Oops. We're going to go ahead and trim this down. Now on this photo, Riley was over at her other granny's house and her auntie, I guess, would be what she is which she is. She's like a year and a half or two, Isabella. She has this little unicorn chair. And I thought this was a, such a cute photo of Riley sitting in it. Now you can't really see the unicorn. It's cut off up at the top. But it reminded me of her sitting in a little throne uh, like a princess. See? It's not easy being a princess. It isn't. My sister Barbie, she calls me princess. <laughs> I am not. Um, I'm going to use this one as the background. Now this collection, I think I only have one page of each. I got it at Tuesday morning for $2.99. There are cut aparts back here on the back. I like this unicorn. I might fussy cut him, but there is also one on the sticker sheet. So I think I'm going to use this for my background, but I like some of these little fairies. So I might try to save some of the paper somehow. We'll go ahead and trim this down. This is going to be for two challenges. I don't know why I stuck that thing up. Um, this is going to be for two challenges at a cherry on top. One of them is a really cool challenge. In fact, when this video goes up, it'll still be available. Um, it's a bust your stash challenge. And she had you put 15 different items, which I kind of went overboard on, but whatever. She had you put 15 different items in a box. And to enter the challenge, you have to use five of those items. So that's the one, that's the challenge that I'm going to be um, doing this layout for. It seemed like a lot of fun. And then there's another, you can enter them into two challenges if they allow. And almost, they almost always do. The other one is going to be the manufacturer's challenge. And it had to start with the E, a P, or a something, something. If you hold on one sec, I'll tell you. Okay, so the manufacturer's challenge is F, E, or B. So, in her thing, it looks like she has one, two, three, four. Four, five pattern papers. Ooh, this could go for a pattern paper challenge too, but I think you can only enter them into two challenges. <clears throat> so let's find out what pattern papers we're going to use. This one right here was the cut apart sheet. It's where I cut out already the, um, it looks like she has a kind of a, well, maybe not. Let's see what we can do with this one. See, I don't want to waste all the paper on the background because on the other side of it, I'll show it to you. It has these little fairies and there's like all these fairy words, which is really super cute. And I kind of want to, because it only came with one piece, I kind of want to keep it, right? That one, that one might be too small. We'll see. I had my desk cleaned off. See that? Isn't that just cute? I'd like to fussy cut out some of those banners. This page is not really about fairies. It's more about the um, unicorn throne. But then I'm using a princess card. So I guess unicorns and princesses. Whatever. I have this piece. I like this one. I figure we should maybe use one of the loud pieces. Kind of a louder piece. I am going to... Here's a little unicorn shoot. I'm going to have to, if I use this sticker, I'm going to have to flip the sketch. If I use the paper, did I cut the unicorn? 
No, okay. If I use the paper that had the unicorn on it, which is somewhere. He faces the correct direction, but then I'd have to fussy cut him out. We'll probably just end up doing it over on that side. Um, what other papers do you think we should use? We should use one that has lots of colors, right? I kind of wanted to use, I kind of want to cut out this crown. It is actually a crown, not a crayon. Uh, I actually, I want to cut this out because I'd be cute. Because the title was that other piece I cut out that says it's not easy being a princess. So a princess needs to have a crown. I'll fussy cut it. What's this size? Oh, this size dots too. So I already have pink polka dots. Hmm. I don't know. I, I think we should have a paper that has all the colors. And I think I saw one that was like stars or something. Oh, here's some flowers. I love the um, diagonal stripes. Yeah, here's this one. That's the one I was thinking of. That could be that top strip, right? How big do you think we should make it? That big. There's princesses on the other side. It's not, we'll, we'll trim it down. It's fine. And we have another one. Ooh. We have a purple, a purple piece right here. Purple. Let's use the purple. And this piece doesn't have purple in it. That's weird. I thought it represented all the colors, but it does not have purple. Oh, that's wrong. Wrong. Um, we'll just cut off some of this one. And then she has another one that's actually quite thick. Uh, I mean, I guess we could use more dots. At least they have purple in them. Maybe we should, um, use the dots up top and use that down. Let's cut just a thinner strip of the dots. Cause they went purple. <clears throat> so we can go like this. And that, that's kind of not gonna be good. <clears throat> I might be too busy. That. Um, let's find a, a piece that we can cut big. Pink. Use the purple. There's the frogs. You know what? Do you think we should do the diagonal stripe? I love diagonal stripes. I usually like to use them for borders, though. So. Here's a plain purple, but we already have a plain purple. Well, mostly plain purple. Big old flower sheet. I might, I might fussy cut some of those out. Here's some small flowers. So what do you think? Should we do diagonal? This one, I'm not loving that. Flowers. 
I really want more purple in there because from that bust your stash challenge, I had some chipboard pieces in there that were purple and I thought I could get some of those on here. I'm going to ink the edges of everything with the gray just to tie it all together. We're going to make this piece like kind of bigger. I like that. So, this, this sits on top of it. This goes right here. I don't like that together. Too much pink. Or too many dots together. Um, I think I cut it too small to actually put my photo on it. Show did. I can make my photo smaller. <laughs> what do you think? <clears throat> Here lately I have not been um, scrapbooking just one photo. So that's a little, that's a little different than what I've been doing lately. I have this pack of papers under my desk and they're papers that are one sided that I don't think I'm ever going to use the other side for. And some of them are very thin that I had got at a garage sale. So like these, they're super thin. I'm going to use that to back my photo with because, um, I don't want to waste white cardstock. It's not... People say, oh, it's white, it's cardstock, it's cheap. Whoops. I don't know where you're buying yours at, but it's not all that cheap if you go using a new sheet on every layout. Of course, here I am cutting down all these papers. <laughs> well. So, the manufacturer's challenge says, for the February manu manufacturer challenge, I'm asking you to use a manufacturer starting with the letter F, E, and or B for your project. You may use one, two, or three manufacturers, but only one for each letter. Now I'm using Echo Park, so this could cause me a problem because some of the pieces that were in my box are Ellie's Studio, so... And I did pull some of those out. So I can't really use LE Studio because you're only supposed to use one manufacturer of that letter. Then it says, please be sure to list the manufacturer you're using. We'll be able to clearly, we should be able to be, to clearly see the product that you use for this challenge. I will pick a random winner for a $5 a cherry on top gift certificate. Has to be a new layout. Has to be posted by 228. You may combine with other monthly challenges if allowed. So yeah, it doesn't say how many you can do. Oh, limit to five entries. So I can do the manufacturer's challenge five times, which is perfect because I have Bow Bunny in that box. I have a Bow Bunny thing in that box. What do you think? So then we can mat it again on the pink. So then I get my little pink fix, right? I love the pink. Maybe I shouldn't do it on pink because I don't know. We're, we're doing it on pink. It'll be fine. It'll be just fine. It's a little crooked. That's okay. I do a lot of things um, kind of crooked. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm not super careful. <clears throat> okay, so this one, I am going to make it a little bit shorter. I mean like I am completely 
scrap lifting the base of her layout. I have some distressed ink. Oh, it's a hickory smoke. I keep telling people I'm using uh, gray flannel. <laughs> I'm such a liar. I'm going to just ink the edges a little bit. Sometimes I try not to do this over my um, layout. This is a fairly new sponge, but when they get a little older, um, they will start, pieces of foam will come off and drop down and leave smudges on your layout. Uh, I learned that the hard way by actually doing it. So we put that like right there. That's cute, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Seriously? Oh. Like, I haven't moved. Where could my paper have gone? Boy. Today, I was going to do a totally different layout for you guys because I was watching Heather Balzer. If I remember to, I'll link her down below, but she was doing a video. I think it was an organizational video. I can't remember. And let's leave more of a space up there. she was saying something like I don't care what you use you or what you scrapbook you can scrapbook a photo of the bottom of your feet if that's what you want to do you should do that that wasn't today actually that was like yesterday I think anyway it's not that's not the point so I was like oh okay so then I went and took pictures of my feet because <laughs> I thought it was funny it, she was talking about you can scrap the bottom of your feet. So I was just like laughing and I just thought that was hilarious. And so then I went and took photos of the top of my feet. The top of my feet, not the bottom of my feet. The top of my feet. And it made me laugh because um, hold on one sec. I'm trying to think here. It's hard for me to do. It made me laugh because, so these ones go all the way across, right? Right. Do you think this one's too big? This one might be too big. I should trim this down just a little. Anyways, I took the pictures of my feet and it made me laugh because when I took the pictures of my feet, guys, I had my, I had a pedicure months ago. So now my toenails, I mean, I clip them, but the nail polish has grown out like three quarters <laughs> of the way out so there's just like this orange nail polish I think it was October and that's why they were orange that's how long it's been since I had my feet done and I just was laughing when I saw my toes <laughs> I put on her face or on her uh, video I said yeah I took a picture of my feet and I'm gonna call it shrugs it's winter <laughs> so that's actually the layout we were gonna do today but we didn't I put this one on top um in the sketch it's on it's this one is underneath this one or not sketch in the in um the scrap lift it's underneath that one but i think i'm gonna put it actually maybe i do like it better that way and this goes all the way across now my photo is not quite as big that is perfectly fine i do want to trim this out hmm might see maybe i shouldn't have boarded that in pink because i want to use this pink strip right here Huh. Should I go border that again in something else? Hey, in my box of um, my 15 things box for Bust Your Stash, I have scraps in there. Hold on one minute. Let me see if I have a scrap that will work. Okay, I found two scraps. I found this one, which is the light pink color. And then what I've been doing is when I finish Money Cut Mondays, I just kind of been clipping them together and not putting them up. I know, I know, I know. I've been so bad and lazy. But I also have this vellum piece that has all the little baby feet prints on them. What do you think? I also have this vellum piece that has these um, stars. Which one do you think we should do? We can do any of those. We can do all of those if we want. Okay, I just threw those back in the box. So... I have the stars. The stars isn't going to work up and down, but they can work. It can work sideways. 
I don't know if that's going to give me a very big break from the pink and pink. Because remember, I'm going to cut this out. I want to stick it. Okay. Well, since I flipped the thing, this has to be here. It's not easy being a princess. So, I guess maybe I don't need another piece because... I can stick this up higher, right? Like up to there. We'll just add an extra strip, and that's cute. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. So I don't really need an extra piece, but I mean, hey, I could put this vellum on there, and then it will count as a piece for that came out of my box. I don't know who the manufacturer is on it, so hopefully it's not a whatever e or b or whatever the other one was p well, i guess it could be a b or p it just can't be an e you can't even tell there's stars but hey look at me this was part of mini kit monday i already said that but i just said it again yeah i've been so bad man I didn't ink the edges of this, and I should have before I put this vellum down. Dang it. Okay, so I cut this out. Let's go ahead and put this purple piece down. Um, I want to ink the edges with the hickory smoke, not gray flannel. It's hickory smoke. I almost just made a mess there. Do you see? Do you see where I skipped the edge and kind of actually went onto the page? I don't think it actually. I don't think I had ink there. Thank goodness on the edge of that. So I am gonna tuck this in. I can trim it up a little bit. So I don't want to put adhesive up at the top. Excuse me. <clears throat> Does that look straight-ish? Oh, yeah, we have to trim this up just a little. Just, just a little bit, just a little bit. I trimmed it crooked. <laughs> Isn't that just the way I do everything? Crooked. Um, yeah. So this goes here. Here. Let's ink these edges. So I showed you that stack of layouts I have to put away. Yeah, should we do that into a video? Should we make should we make a video about putting our layouts away? Don't do what Becky does and let them sit there forever. Don't do that. I'm like dreading it. I for real am. Let's see. I have a T square ruler somewhere. Which is kind of a joke because it's still gonna be crooked ish. <laughs> when you guys go to crops or retreats, do you take your ATG go with you or do you um, pack smaller smaller um adhesives i'm not sure i mean i have till may to make these decisions oh i saw a lot of not a live a real-time video rachel reynolds has taken to doing real-time videos which is fabulous because i like watching her and she was talking about how she's going on a retreat or a crop or something in um march 
so she is going to do another packing video. Ha! That's awesome. Because I need all the help I can get. I mean, I'm not going till May, and I'm, you know, still talking about it. That says something about myself, probably. Um, okay, so this is going to be my title. It's not easy being a princess. I will have to pop that up on some foam tape. But I don't want this crown to be directly in line with this. I need to put it on one side or the other. So I need to decide if I want it over here or if I want it over here. I'm thinking this side because it will go better over, I mean, it's not over her head, but it's over her, right? So I think I'm going to go with that. Um, I'm going to get my, what is this thing called? crop a -dial, quarter rounder thingy. That is full of bits. I need to shake out some of those before I make a mess. Yeah, I'm going to use this thing. You can use one half or one quarter. I'm going to go with the one half. Stick that in like, nope, still made a mess. I thought I shook them all out in the trash can. I did not. I'm going to go with the one half inch like that. And we'll round that and then this will just trim off the edge. Okay, so let's ink this one. Anyways, Rachel Reynolds said she was going to do another packing video. And this one, she said she is driving to the crop. I will link her down below if I remember. I try not to listen back to my videos. But on these real-time ones, I really need to listen back. Because I'm always talking about, I will link this person. And then I don't because I'm an idiot. Whatever. Um, I just don't like listening back to myself. Because bless you guys for listening to me. My voice annoys me. I mean, I have like the most annoying voice in the history of all voices. How about that? That's cute, right? I like it. It's not really over the photo, but it's partially over the photo. I mean, I can make it more over the photo. Uh, what do you think? It's cute. This reminds me of, this is Echo Park, but it reminds me of Doodlebug, which I don't have a lot of Doodlebug. I might not have any. Actually, I think I have one. And it had to do with unicorns and stuff. <laughs> um, I think I have one doodlebug line. But cutesy was never my favorite. But now that Riley's here, she is cutesy. So I think I'm going to put some foam tape up there. Just so that stands up just a smidge. Here's my foam tape. Let me cut it down a little bit. I mean, it'll be over the photo because I'm not going to put the photo all the way up to the side, am I? I don't think it will. Let's stick this right there and pop that up just a little. Just the tab. Okay. So, did that piece. I have to do this piece. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. My friend Kathy, she does mini kit Mondays with us. You guys, go check out Kathy's channel. Too, but we were talking yesterday. She wants. She's trying. To, she's gonna try and grow her channel. I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm gonna say it. She was kind of forced to retire for. Um, I guess she had. Uh, hold on one sec. Sorry, I had to go away for a minute. This is like <laughs> makes me think that. Um, Here's one reason why I'm not going to be able to do live videos. It's because sometimes I have to go away. 
and I don't even remember what I was talking about at this point. I think I was talking about Kathy wanting to grow her channel. Oh yeah, I, I texted her to see if she had a problem with me <laughs> telling her business. Some people do. I'm like an open book, like, I mean, I talk about stuff I probably shouldn't talk about, about myself, you know, but I don't care. It's real life. You guys, you guys know way too much about me. That's okay. This isn't quite straight, guys. Oh no. Oh no, it's stuck. Get off there. Get off there, man. We'll get to the embellishment part soon. This one's going to be long. I like this collection. This is the Echo Park collection called Something. Fairy Village. There's a lot of princess stuff in here, which is absolutely perfect because they are in Disney this week. Um, Marissa's mom got her, you know, all the kids, uh, Marissa and Riley and her three younger kids and their dad they're all going to Disney so that's where Riley is this week I got some really cute photos Marissa sent me some photos of her with mini ears on oh my god so cute I wanted to see her before they left and I didn't get to Jim got sick again and um what happened is he is diabetic has been for years and um, I talked about that before he told me uh, thanks for telling my business but whatever um, he we had that cold well it's really hard to control your blood sugar and stuff if you have that issue when you are sick so m he got really sick he went to the ER the other day he kept vomiting, 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 vomiting. He was super dehydrated and it was bad. Of course, where the hospital he went to, they didn't have, I mean, he couldn't text me from there. There was no service inside. So he had texted me when he was leaving work that I'm going to the ER. And I didn't hear from him after that. So I was freaking out. I left work and went to the hospital where he was at anyway he couldn't text me and tell me what was going on because he didn't have a signal in there so I just had to rush over there and I sure did I was scared to death my husband's a little bit older than I am I mean he's not old he's just older than I am and um I don't know I worry I, wor I worry about being a widow I don't want to be. He's my bestie. Especially now that I don't have a bestie. He's my bestie. He's always been my bestie before. He told me that, um, that I have Becky so that I could talk about poops and periods. Because <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about poops or periods. So that's Becky's job. Of course you know she passed away in September so I don't have anybody to talk about poops and periods with now in case anybody wants to talk about poops and periods I'm here I'll talk about it <laughs> yep. other than that he's my bestie so anyways he was really sick and it was just a combination of the whatever we had in this house the past several weeks and his diabetes the blood his it's just hard to control your blood sugar when you're ill and he was really dehydrated because he kept vomiting so you vomit all the time you're going to get really dehydrated so it's just a mixture of that and the doctor's like you need to stay home and put your feet up and take it easy so that's what he's been doing for the past few days 
I don't want this in line with the crown either way. It needs either needs to be over it or to the side of it. What do you guys think? I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do it over it. And I didn't cut my border straight, so this might be crooked. Story of my life. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna pop this up on some foam tape as well. So he's supposed to be doing bed rest. I don't even know why I started talking about that. He's supposed to be doing bed rest, which he's been doing pretty good at this weekend. And um, that's why I have so many videos, because we're not really supposed to go anywhere. I mean, I can. I'm going to go to the grocery store here in a little bit. So, I mean, I can go somewhere, but he can't. And I don't want to leave him at home by himself if he needs something. He still has been up doing things like, I don't know. He cooked himself breakfast and stuff like that, which I should have done. I know. I know, guys. I know. I'm bad. I'm a bad wife. I should have said, what do you want for breakfast? And then just immediately did it. But I didn't do that because I don't, I wasn't thinking about it. I don't usually eat breakfast, so I wasn't even thinking about breakfast. It's not my jam. Anyway, he did get up and do that. He not. I don't even think he's supposed to be doing that much. But he did. I don't know. Is it okay for this to get over part of her little legs? Or should I move it out further? But then I have this trap space. And I don't... I'm not in love with the trap space. I can stick something back there, right? I don't have to put this down immediately. I can keep it like that. <clears throat> so, when I went away, I did take out this little unicorn sticker. I don't know where he's going to go. But that's my embellishments. And this is my title. It's not easy being a princess. So now we can move on to things that were in the box. So I pulled out, these are LA Studio, and I don't think I'm supposed to use these because they're two E's. I already used Echo Park. These are from somewhere I don't even know where. Um, I don't know where these are from. They're a random embellishment pack. And I had just pulled these out. They're chipboard pieces and they weren't, they didn't have a, um, they weren't in a package is what I'm trying to say. But I have several hearts, or no, those aren't hearts, those are stars. Here's Ellie Studio, I'm not supposed to use that. Here's just a piece of chipboard. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. And there are some purple pieces that go like that as well, I guess. Maybe. I hate glued that down really good. So I'm supposed to use five things from that box. This color is a color that's not even in there, but whatever. I have a green. Also, not even. Well, I mean, it's in this one right here. Not to worry guys, I also have more stuff from that box. I already have one piece of vellum that I pulled from the box. These are Citrus Twist stickers, which I also pulled from the box, so there's several hearts in here I can put around. Yeah, I can definitely put some of these hearts around. I kind of like this one, it has some good colors in it. Let me cut it in half. This is thick. I don't know where this shipboard piece came from. It is thick though. Thick. I really want to use the unicorn because she's sitting in a unicorn chair. I mean, this is thicker than my foam tape. We gotta fix this, guys. We're gonna have to fix this. This is way too thick. Take off several layers of this chipboard. Way too thick. 
Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I don't remember where this came from. They were really pretty colors, though. I, I might have got them in a D stash. I remember when I first started scrapbooking and I bought a whole bunch of D stashes? These might have came in D stash. Hmm. So, yeah, the, I mean, those colors matchish. So, there could be one piece. I'm just taking my X-Acto knife and sticking it in one of the layers and then pulling it up so that it won't be as thick. I did such a good job gluing this down. <laughs> it doesn't want to go under there. Um, we can make it thinner. that. Does that look okay? Or is that too much purple altogether? I mean, I did a really good job. I used that art glitter glue to hold this down. It's not going to go anywhere. I don't know that I like the purple on the purple. I do like the heart though. Let's make this smaller. And do the same thing to make this smaller. I'm just taking my X-Acto knife. I'm going to stick it into one of the layers and peel back because these are super thick. And like I said, I think these must have come in a D-stash. I don't remember purchasing them on their own for any reason. So I think they were part of a D-stash. Now you can't really tell that around the corners when I put that right there, but I don't, I don't know. I like it there. What do you think of these flowers? This color's not in there anywhere. One, two, three, four, five. So that's five. Then I want to use this cute little unicorn. I don't want to cover up any of the words though. So did anybody ever tell me what they thought about overlapping onto her? I feel like I didn't hear anything. A lot of people say that they talk to you when they're doing real time videos, which um I understand because I do the same thing when I watch real time videos. I don't like that. That's cute. Hold on one sec. Sorry guys, I'm back. I did ask my friend, Kathy, if I was allowed to talk about her, um, her um, channel and stuff. What happened is, she had something wrong with her back and she had to she had back surgery and it went wrong so now she can't work so she was forced to retire so she scrapbooks and she just loves scrapbooking but she didn't know that you could YouTube for a little extra money if you wanted to she didn't know that was you know you could do that but now, since she's discovered that, she wants to grow her channel. Which, I mean, that's not the reason, really, that she wants to grow her channel. I mean, she's been scrapbooking on YouTube for, I don't even know how long. She's been with me on Mini Kit Monday for a long time. So, I mean, she would scrapbook anyways. But now, she does want to grow her channel because now she knows. But she didn't know before. But now she does. So, she wants to grow her channel. And I want you guys, if you would so kindly, go over there and give her a chance and check her out. I love her. She's like, I mean, 
I don't just love her in YouTube land, which that's how I met her, was through YouTube. I just love her. I think she's an awesome person. And I like awesome people. I mean, I like people that are more awesome than myself. And she's a lot, she's a lot better person than I am, I'll tell you that. Because I'm kind of a jackhole. So, yeah. If you guys would go over there and holler at her, be like, hey, yo, like that, that'd be nice. I hope she's able to grow her channel. We were talking about tips and stuff yesterday, and I'm like, I don't know, because, you know, I mean, if I was in her situation, probably I might have wanted my channel to grow more, but I just do it for fun, you know, it's just fun. Um, but if I was trying to do it for another reason or, you know, if that was like, I mean, she, she doesn't look at it like it's her job, but it is what she can do, what she's allowed to do. Okay, so she can stay home and scrap it. If I w was forced to take that same avenue, I don't know. We were talking about it, and I'm like, well, you can go to some successful YouTube YouTubers' channels and see what they did. I mean, that's an option. Do any of you guys have any um, suggestions? Like, what do you like to watch? So, maybe if you're trying to grow your channel, you can put things up on your channel that, you know people like to watch. I know a lot of people love to watch mini albums, videos about mini albums. I like to make mini albums sometimes, but I've never done a process video on them. I've just kind of kept with the mostly 12 by 12 pages. I'm going to go ahead and make this one thinner as well. I mostly have kept with the 12 by 12 pages. So, I don't know. I could probably have more subscribers if I wasn't so stubborn, but that's just what I do. That's what I like. You gotta do what you like, and that's what I like. So, yeah. I wanna help my friend out. I want to help my friend out, cause she's my friend. She was trying so hard to get to the Heather's Crafty Life Retreat. She's not gonna be able to go though, because there, she has some things going on in May with the kids' birthdays and stuff, so she's not going to be able to go, which is a boo, because I haven't met Kathy in real life. I just know her from YouTube, and like we like text or whatever pretty frequently, and uh, yeah, that's how I know her. You guys should get to know her too. She's, she's pretty ace. I'm making this one thinner too. See a trend here? Do you see a trend making them thinner? So do you guys think I can do a video about putting up your pages? That's kind of fake, right? Let me do a video about putting up pages even though I don't. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. What I meant was putting up, would you like to put my pages up with me? Would you like to come over and help me put up my pages? There was this one subscriber, oh my gosh, she's so cute, but she thought we had lived in the same house, or house, we, she did not think we lived in the same house. She thought we lived in the same town because we have two of the same named restaurants, and I was excited too, and then I was like, I'm in Georgia, and she's like, well, I'm in, I think it was Ohio, can't remember, I was like, damn it, <laughs> I thought I was going to have, I thought I was going to have a real life scrapbooker. What? No. Do any of you guys live in near Savannah, Georgia. I don't live in Savannah. I live outside of Savannah. But do any of you guys live in Savannah, Georgia? I need a scrapbook friend, man. Um, Kathy, it's funny because she lives in Illinois, but I mean, which is far away from me. But when I lived in Kansas, because I am from Kansas, Leavenworth, if you want to know, Leavenworth is what I call it because it's worth leaving, but whatever. Leavenworth, Kansas, and uh, she's only about four hours from Leavenworth. 
but I was like, well, if I still live back, you know, in my hometown, we could meet. We could meet up. That wasn't helpful. That wasn't a helpful thing to say because I don't live there anymore. People asked how people ask, like to ask rather frequently. Do you think I should put him down here on the line? Or do you think I should put him overlapping? I mean, I kind of like him up here. And why do I need to have a unicorn? I just do because she's sitting in a unicorn chair and she's Riley and she needs to have a unicorn. Marissa took this photo and it was, it was kind of dark. I wish it was brighter. But they were having a unicorn party because <laughs> she has a couple unicorn dolls. And um, they're spread out on a blanket as she's playing with them. There's one, last time she came over, she had this one unicorn doll. I don't know where she got it. It has rattles and stuff in it. Man, she played with that sucker for like an hour. She loved that unicorn doll. When she comes back over, I'm sure she'll have it with her. I'll have to take a picture of her with her little unicorn doll. She sure did like him. I think her mama got it for her. I'm not sure. Her granny might have got it for her. I don't remember. Not me, granny. I, I didn't get her that. I don't usually just go randomly do stuff. I should, but I don't. I don't know why that is. I think it's because I just don't go shopping very often. I'm not, I'm not super big going out. I'm not super big going out, period. But I'm not super big going out shopping. That's weird, right? What a weirdo. I think his legs are going to be hanging over, so I need to put another piece right there. And that's going to show because I put it right where his leg joins. I have to clip that off. Clip. Okay, so we are doing this for a challenge. Oh my gosh, that's so cute, right? Oh. Oh, I love this unicorn. I love it. Okay, we were doing this for a challenge, so I had to do Echo Park, which we did. And then from the random box thing, we have one, two. This was the same piece. I cut it in half, so that's just one. One, two, three, four, five. So I, I do have five things, but I don't think this is done yet. What do you think? I just don't. I have these Citrus Twist puffies that are not super fabulous and easy to use. You can stick some of those down on this page. We got some more yellowish hearts. I mean, are these okay? Do you like these hearts? I kind of feel like Maybe I might like to have another crown. I like to put these on the photos. I'm not going to do that this time. I already stuck that down right there. It's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck, it's stuck. That's not the best color. Um, I'm not loving that color, guys don't love it and these aren't very sticky I'm gonna go back and stick them Get some sticky on them what else can we do I feel like we should do some more stuff I just don't know what there's some green Green is nice, right? We like green. I don't know about this. I already, I stuck these down with that art glitter glue, so they're staying there. They're not going nowhere. I don't know, guys. You 
hear that? That's my stomach growling. Me over here talking about, I don't eat breakfast. You need to, girl, because your stomach is obnoxious. You think we should do some splatters? I mean, I don't know. This doesn't look done. I don't know, guys. Do you think that looks done? I don't know. I don't know if it looks done or not. Let's see. Hold on. All right, guys. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna be done. I, let's do some splatters. We can do some splatters with this hickory smoke that I keep calling gray flannel for some reason. I just dropped my um, T-square. I don't want to get out my Tim Holtz um, glass mat because it's over there and I'm lazy. So we'll just take this distressed oxide and gray and kind of smish it. It doesn't look very dark. I don't know if I'm going to like that. I have a water bottle somewhere. Where? Where is it? Oh, jeez Louise. Oh, it's right here. I was exasperating myself just now. I was like, oh, good gosh. Come on, Becky. Get with the program. That doesn't look like it left that much ink, huh? That looks really light. It looks like way lighter than what came on the thing. I mean, we'll try it out. We'll see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, I need my pencil. I just, I guess I just don't have the strength in my hand to make it splat good. I have to bang it on something. That was kind of cute. You like that? I love splatters. I don't know if I'm ever going to get tired of them or not. I keep thinking I will. And on some pages that are just clean pages, I just love. The, and I, I love the cleanness of. I just want to keep them clean. I won't do splatters. This one, I like it. But... I don't care about keeping it clean. I get it. I'm going to go ahead and keep this um, collection out, though, because it has some castles and stuff. And like I said, they're in Disney. They're in Disney right now. So I'm going to go ahead and keep this collection out. That's cute, right? I think that's going to be all we're going to do. I kind of want to fussy cut out another crown and put it somewhere. But I don't know. Yeah, here's the crown the crown paper. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I'm cutting into yet another paper, guys. Don't be mad at me for being wasteful. Can't help it. I just feel like I want another crown on here. Good grief. I really hope you can't hear my stomach. It's like a monster. What time is it? It's 2.10. What? That's not right. That's the date. It's 11.51. <laughs> that was funny to me. I'm an idiot. Listen, this video is probably going to be as long as that last video. I couldn't believe that last video was an hour. It was like, oh my word. Ain't no one going to sit and listen to me talk about budgets for an hour? Apparently some people did. You know what? Maybe we could put this crown on that unicorn. If I don't jack it up, cutting it out. God, I might have just did that. Nope, it, it worked, it worked, it worked. It's okay, it's okay. Um, I had a comment, someone was saying that, I say, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That's just what I tell myself. I tell myself that a lot. It's okay, it's okay. 
because it's just scrapbooking. It's okay. If you mess stuff up, no problem. It's, it's just scrapbooking. It's okay. Do you think we can stick this crown Boop. right on the unicorn's head? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I kind of want another one now to put right on top of her head. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I will put this on the uh, unicorn's head though. I'm going to put this crown on the unicorn's head because it's funny. Because it makes me laugh. And I like things that make me laugh. We'll put it at a jaunty angle. It's at a jaunty angle. Well, let me go get my tea to sup. Okay, hold on one minute. Let me clean this up and I will be right back. Okay, looking at this, I got some of that gray splatter right between her eye. So I don't know if I'm going to reprint this picture or just let it fly. Wait, it is. I tried to use an eraser on it and it just kind of made it worse. I don't know haven't decided I probably will end up leaving it how it is it's not like like my scrapbook albums will be like scrapbook layout scrapbook layout nothing but photos scrapbook layout scrap nothing but photos so this photo will probably be reprinted and stuck in the album anyways it's like a photo album with photos and scrapbook pages in it basically is what my scrapbook albums are so yeah what do you think what do you think what do you think what do you think Oh, cute, right? Now, like I said, that was a scrap lift of a Scrap Queen 141 is her screen name at a cherry on top. So, yeah, that's what we got. This is the one we scrap lifted. Yay! Thanks, Scrap Queen 141. All right, guys, I am going to get off of here and go to the grocery store, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.